A high-energy laser weapon that can be mounted on an aircraft has been given to the U.S. Air Force. Today's revelation was revealed by Lockheed Martin, which said that the Air Force had received at least one of the missiles it had produced for testing. This project is part of a larger, still-evolving strategy to equip fighter jets with lasers so they can intercept enemy missiles and maybe other targets. According to a story published today by Breaking Defense, Lockheed Martin gave the Air Force its Lance High Energy Laser Weapon in February of this year. Lance stands for Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments in this context. The Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRO, which is tasked with developing and integrating new technologies in the air, space, and cyberspace sectors, is the recipient of the new weapon. The Lance Laser, according to Lockheed executive Tyler Griffin, is the smallest, lightest high-energy laser in its power class that Lockheed Martin has created to date. Griffin confirmed this, saying that Lance is one-sixth the size of a prior directed energy weapon Lockheed made for the Army. This earlier laser, which was a component of the robust Electric Laser Initiative program, had a 60 kilowatt output. Although there have been hints that Lance can generate less than 100 kilowatts of power, this is still unknown. In addition to being significantly smaller and lighter than other previous weapons, Lance also uses less power, which is important for a fighter-based laser, especially one that can be deployed inside of a pod. If Lance is successful in its defensive mission, it's possible that it will help in the development of more offensive laser weapons, such as ones that can engage enemy drones and aircraft at greater ranges than when aiming for a quickly approaching anti-aircraft missile, whether launched from the ground or an enemy aircraft. Lance was created in accordance with a contract signed in November 2017 and is a component of the Air Force's larger Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD, program. Together with Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and Lockheed Martin, SHIELD is a collaborative project. Northrop Grumman is in charge of the beam control system that places the laser on its target and keeps it there, while Boeing makes the pod that holds Lance, which is provided by Lockheed Martin. The multiple SHIELD subsystems, according to Kent Wood, interim head of AFRL's Directed Energy Division, are the most compact and capable laser weapon technologies released to date. Wood's statement also hinted that AFRL's actual test work is still in its early stages, citing ongoing mission utility analysis and wargaming studies. The findings of these investigations will also help to identify the precise targets for upcoming testing and demonstrations, he added. Tyler Griffin from Lockheed noted that the program's next phase would see Lance connected with a thermal system to control heating and cooling. When Lance moves forward to flight tests and ideally aerial fire trials, we won't know for sure what aircraft it is designed to outfit. Griffin did note that a variety of potential platforms and applications are being investigated for prospective demonstrations and tests. The pod carried by an S-16 fighter aeroplane has been depicted in earlier Lockheed Martin concept images. Additionally, although SHIELD is originally focused on demonstrating the viability of active defense for fighter jets in dangerous settings, officials have also raised the prospect of utilizing the same technology for larger, slower moving combat and combat support aircraft. In 2019, Boeing successfully test flew a pre-prototype pod shape on an Air Force F-15 fighter without its interior subsystems over the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Also in 2019, a demonstrator laser known as the Demonstrator Laser Weapon System DLWS, has already successfully shot down multiple air-launched missiles during ground testing. Once funding for a flight demonstration has been secured, which is not the case right now, a decision regarding the initial test platform for the entire SHIELD system is anticipated to follow. Similar to how Lance and SHIELD might develop into a real program of record, there is currently no official transition strategy in place. The timing of all of this work is currently unknown, as AFRO told Breaking Defense that no decisions have been made on the potential timing of airborne experiments. By the end of 2017, AFRL announced its intention to test a laser on a tactical fighter jet. Then, in 2020, Lockheed Martin declared that by 2025, one of their lasers would be flying aboard tactical aircraft.
The Air Force has encountered significant issues with these technologies, as evidenced by the service's announcement last year that flight testing of a potted laser weapon had been postponed by two years until 2023. Both technological issues and work slowdowns caused by the COVID-19 epidemic were blamed for the delay. The Boeing Shield pod was about to be delivered when AFRL made an announcement in February of last year stating that it hoped to get the remaining parts, including Lance, by July 2021. Although AFRL has previously referred to the technological difficulties involved in using a directed energy laser to bring down an adversarial supersonic missile as tremendous, the cause of the delay this time around is unclear. In the interim, Air Force pilots have already practiced simulating real-world battles while using airborne lasers that have been modified. However, there are drawbacks to laser defense systems as well, such as a lack of resilience to atmospheric conditions, which may negatively affect the directed energy beam's range and power. A laser can only engage one target at a time. Therefore, once it is in use, it is more likely to supplement existing decoys and other countermeasures than to replace them. We have previously conducted extensive research on the potential effects that laser weapons may have on future battle spaces. However, once completely developed, a high-energy laser weapon may be put to use in a number of other applications besides shielding airplanes from missiles. It might also be used as an offensive weapon, engaging enemy aircraft in close-quarters air warfare, shooting down cruise missiles, or even hitting ground targets. The delivery of Lance earlier this year is unquestionably a significant step toward realizing a practical fighter-based laser weapon, even though it is unclear to what extent previous problems with the underlying technology have been fixed. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.